Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I really just wanna thank you guys for going ahead and clicking this video, for coming here and watching this, especially after neglecting you for a good four to five weeks. Tell you guys where I've been, what I've been doing, why emotionally and mental health wise, like needed to take some time away from YouTube. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys some ideas that I have going forward. I do need to be a little bit more active on Instagram, so I will leave my Instagram down below where I hope to upload more pictures, more IGTVs, positive affirmations, um, just what it is I do to help grow myself spiritually, mentally. Mental health is really important. It is something that I have really been aware of for quite some time now because I did go through some stuff that really brought mental health to the forefront. I'm also teaching you guys how to do this really simple quick makeup look that is super summertime friendly. I mean, I know this video is long, but if you sit down and just do your makeup, it's going to take you five minutes. You're going to feel your best. You're going to look your best and you're not gonna feel uncomfortable in the hotter months that we are currently approaching. If you're not yet subscribed, do me a favor and click that subscribe button as well as the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. Let's go ahead and just hop right into the video. I definitely have dry combination skin. I am a little bit more oily in the summertime because of the humidity. I love the Maraud line. I just think that they're a great skincare line. I've been using the Resurgence Rapid Collagen Rapid Collagen Infusion Serum. And this is the kind of serum that just absorbs into the skin really beautifully. And it doesn't create that kind of like extra layer that makes you feel sweaty. I'm a head sweater in the summer. Wearing a lot of makeup is hard for me and wearing a lot of skincare is also hard for me. So the beauty with this again is that it absorbs into the skin and it kind of like doesn't even count as a layer if that makes sense. Maraud Hydrating Perfecting Day Cream with an SPF 30. This is the best sunscreen underneath makeup. I have used several sunscreens here on my channel. If you are more of a babe on a budget, I would recommend the Neutrogena. I would say that is a really good drugstore dupe. So this is definitely difficult for me. I haven't sat down and filmed a video in like six weeks. Prior to stepping away though, I wasn't very active on anything but YouTube. Social media was just depressing for me. It made me feel really crappy about myself. I have been really anxious for the last year and a half ever since COVID started in terms of like my life's purpose. I'm yearning for something more. I love all of you who show me love and support and comment and like and just kind of motivate me to keep going. But I really thought that I'd be further along in my YouTube makeup career at this point. And I'm not. And that's fine. And we all have our own journey. And you know, that's not to say that I couldn't be hustling harder because I can. And I am sick of making up excuses. Let me put a little bit of makeup on though while we're talking. It's a concealer slash foundation, but I've only been using it as foundation. And I like this because it's very lightweight. It doesn't move into my fine lines too, too much. And it leaves a really natural complexion. You twist it up to get the product into the cushion. And I kind of just apply this to the center of my face. So I kind of just whisk this all over my face and that sunscreen and serum underneath it kind of created a little bit of a slip for me to kind of just maneuver this a little bit more easily throughout my face. For me, I would always look at social media, watch these women, watch these men doing makeup, creating content, and just like, I admire each and every one of them. But I feel like I always had this sort of narrative in my brain, and I still kind of do, to be totally and completely honest, that these people have so much time. And it's like, I would make the excuse for myself, like, well, I can't be on Instagram like this because I don't have hours and hours and hours a day to, you know, just put the time and effort that it really needs because these people on social media dedicate so much time that it's kind of intimidating for me. And it kind of helped me create this narrative around reasons as to why I don't have time and I don't have the capacity to do it. I am working full time. I do my YouTube channel as well, which takes up several hours during the week. So I, I feel like this is me almost kind of giving an excuse again. I need to up the ante in terms of my Instagram. I feel like Instagram is really where it's at and TikTok in terms of really connecting with new people and creating a larger audience for myself and kind of just molding that life to which I really aspire to have, which would be full-time makeup artist, creating some kind of product line. I've always been about women empowerment. I feel like I've always been that kind of like sister to women in my age bracket to really help them find their voice, gain the confidence that I think everyone should have. And I am just the kind of person that has always strived to learn more, do more, be 
better and just level up in terms of my spirituality, in terms of my confidence, in terms of my inner strength. So I really wanna create some kind of product. I wanna create some kind of profit for you know myself and also a cause that means a lot to me. So I really wanna give back. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I kind of wanna create this like lifestyle brand that is you know really focused around beauty because I feel like no matter what it is I do, in my life, I will always be a beauty lover. I truly believe that if you feel comfortable in your skin, you feel empowered to go after what you want in life, to stick up for yourself. I just wanna create a community, a lifestyle brand that helps you to feel more empowered as a woman, that helps you really find your voice and just make you feel strong, healthy, happy, beautiful on the inside and outside. I think that it's really important to think big picture and what matters most in life. And I really want to help other people lighten their anxieties on a daily basis to just really put life into perspective. A lot has happened since I've left. I got COVID and, you know, Thankfully, I'm okay. And I know that there are so many people in the world who have lost loved ones to COVID, which my heart goes out to each and every one of you, honestly. I was really sick though. And I was really sick for a good 10 days. I had every symptom except I didn't lose my sense of taste or my sense of smell. I got really sick with COVID right before Mike and I were supposed to get married, which spoiler alert, we did get married. We had a very small church ceremony on June 4th. So we've been married for almost a month. It'll be a month, July 4th. And we just had immediate family. But that was just a very stressful time for me. While I am so happy that Mike and I finally got married. Honestly, he is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I don't want to get upset. Like, I don't know what I would do without him. But there were a lot of stressors surrounding that event. And I needed to take some time off to just do a little bit of healing for myself. Um, there's just a lot of emotion around it. Whether you plan your wedding once and you're done and you keep the date or you move it 15 times, I just, there were expectations surrounding my wedding and I feel like every time I moved it, my expectations lowered. We moved it the first time, it was a little heartbreaking, but I never was like, mad that I had to move it. I was always grateful and thankful that no one in my family had gotten COVID and had gotten really sick and passed away. I know what it's like to lose people that you love. So for me, it was really like, as long as everyone's happy and healthy, I'm good. I'll get married when I get married and we'll party when we party. But it just got to the point where I was like, I just wanted to get married and I just, I couldn't let life keep postponing this event for me. Tower 28, before I forget to put this on. Skin, what is it? I don't know, it's a cream blush, um, but this is in the shade After Hours. I love this blush. I'm taking it with this crown brush. Take a little bit though, because a little really does go a long way. And I'm gonna apply it to my cheekbone, kind of like where I would apply highlighter. I apply this pretty high up on my cheek. So I kept this pretty intimate. I didn't discuss it too much on my channel just because I feel like you guys can tell there's a lot of emotion surrounding this wedding and I was just really focused on getting married and getting it done. But next year in September of 22, I think it's September 16th of 2022, will be the big wedding. So I will definitely bring you guys along for that ride. I'm going all out. Let's just say that. And I'm really, really looking forward to showing you guys my dress, finally wearing my dress. Thank God I like genuinely love this dress so much because I have been waiting to wear it. At that point, it will have been three years since I picked it out, but I'm very excited. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows because I'm talking too much, but I use a combination of the Essence Make Me Brow, Soft Brownie Brows, with the, which is a lighter shade, and I also use Brownie Brows, which is a darker shade, so you guys can see the difference here. I'm gonna go in with the darker one, which really doesn't have a lot of product left in it, and then I'm gonna go in with the lighter one second. So Mike and I got married, then we went away. We went on a little like mini honeymoon to Long Island. We did some wine tasting. We just spent the weekend together. It was amazing. Actually, the Real Housewives of New Jersey. If any of you guys are fans, I love Housewives. That is like my shit. Mike and I stayed at the same hotel, American Beach, that the Housewives went to in a recent episode. After that, we came back. I have been back at work full time. I'm commuting to New York City again, Monday through Thursday most weeks. Some weeks Monday through Friday. So that has been 
again, I just, I need to figure out what I'm doing with my life and I'm just gonna leave it at that. What else has been going on? Oh, Mike and I got tattoos. We got matching um, 6-4, which is our wedding date in Roman numerals. I also got this ghost. I don't know if you guys can see. And I got him facing me, which I know, like when you go to show people your tattoo, it's easier if it's facing them to show them. And a powder underneath my eyes. I've been using this. This is the Watermelon Burst Setting Powder by Ciate. Morphe M0 brush and just set that. So I got fame on my wrist and I got it so that if I show people, they can read it. When I was little, my mom obviously picked my name, which is Fortune. And then my mom wanted to name her second daughter Fame so that it would be Fortune and Fame. But my dad like nixed that and was like, Donna, that's not happening. Like you want our children to have insane names, which I feel like Fortune and Fame would have been awesome. I feel like if I ever have children, like I might try and convince Michael to, uh, name them fortune and fame like why not i feel like that's kind of cool so i got this and i got it so that it's facing other people and i regret that because i feel like your tattoos are really for you like i don't go around showing people my tattoos quite honestly the locations that my tattoos are in no one ever notices them so i always regretted getting this facing the people so i got my ghost facing me and he is a fancy ghost, a formal ghost, I should say. I'll insert a picture because I feel like it's kind of hard to show you. But this is for my cat, Brogan. I do believe that whether you met someone in your current life or prior to this life, I think that they do come back in other forms to help guide you. I joke around with Mike, even though it's really not funny, but like I'll say I see dead people, like the sixth sense. I don't really see dead people, but I see like things that are kind of questionable. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some bronzer. I see, I can't talk and apply makeup, damn it, which is no longer available, I'm sorry, but this is the bronzer that I've been using and so I'm gonna keep it real. And I'm using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06 brush. I've always been a really spiritual person. I have like really vivid dreams about people in my family who have passed away and I feel like they genuinely do come and talk to me. I was very close with my grandfather who passed away in 2016 and he really helped shape me into the woman that I am today. And I really do think that he uses Brogan to help guide me and give me answers that he wants me to have or that I need in a given moment. I am a crazy cat lady for my cat, okay? I don't own eight cats. I have one cat and I love him dearly, but I do feel like he has gotten me through a lot of of crazy shit in my life. He has moved all over the tri-state area with me and he's just really helped kind of direct me and hold my hand through things where I felt really lonely in those instances of my life and help honestly get me to the life that I am living and so blessed to have right now. And I know you might think that I'm crazy, but I am forever thankful for my cat. And I really do think that he is my spirit animal. He is a tuxedo cat. So he is a fancy cat. He always looks like he's dressed up and ready to attend a ball. So I got a ghost because a ghost is a spirit and I got a ghost with a bow tie and a top hat because he's a formal ghost, like my formal cat. And I also got Michael's name on my side, which I'm not trying to flash you here, in my grandfather's handwriting, which is a really funny story. But we need to move along here. Lancome Lash Idol. When Mike and I first started dating, we went to Miami and my grandpa was not happy about the fact that I was going away with a man that he had never met. So my grandpa ran a background check and wrote out like, everyone who was related to my husband. And then after my grandfather passed away, I was asking my grandma for some of my grandfather's handwriting. And she came across the literal piece of paper that he wrote down all of my husband's like background information on. Unfortunately, my grandfather passed away before they had an opportunity to meet. Not only was it Michael in my grandfather's handwriting, but it was my grandfather's handwriting for Michael, like literally referring to him so i got it tattooed on my side so i am tatted up i now have four tattoos i want more tattoos i just got mascara all over my lower lashes nars velvet matte lip pencil in bad girl and it kind of just matches my lips i have been wearing a ton of nude lips nude lips are back i don't even care if i'm wearing a mask or not i'm just i'm into the lipstick if you guys want to see a favorite nude lip combo i have a ton of them that are just like on repeat that i'm rotating but this has been my most worn lip lately i'm also going to take charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip cheat pencil
Before I got COVID, you guys know, I was doing clients makeup a lot, which I definitely plan to do more. And I want to kind of emphasize that part of my life. So if you are someone that has an event this summer and you would like me to do your makeup, check out my Instagram. Also scroll down below. I'm going in with this MAC lip glass. This is in the shade see-through. I don't love these glosses on their own. I find them to be sticky. I find them to be bunchy, but I love them over top of a lip and I'm just gonna put it like on the highest points of my lips and in the center just to make my lips look juicy. You see how that just created like a pout in the middle. I will leave all the products that I mentioned in today's video down below in the description and I'm just gonna go ahead and set this. If you did make it until the end, leave me a little like hug emoji because I love you guys so much. I wish that I could give you like a virtual hug to thank you guys for you know, clicking on this video, watching it because I have been MIA for so long, just listening to me. I know, I don't even know if the majority of this video, quite frankly, made any sense. Maybe one of you out there kind of feel this same way that I've been feeling, just really anxious and a little lost and just not sure what purpose you have in life or what path it is that you wanna take. And if it did resonate with you, I would love it if you would just let me know down below in the comments. My goal on my channel here is to not only help teach you guys how to look and feel your best, but also to just make you feel heard and understood. Whatever it is you guys wanna talk about, whether it's beauty related, whether it's anxiety related, let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button and that bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I genuinely love each and every one of you. I hope to see you in my next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Mwah.